Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Monday Morning Musings, where we are continuing on with just the introduction to our topic about the Reformation. In this episode, I want to talk to you about propaganda, how history degrades to propaganda. Propaganda occurs when facts are lost or distorted, memory is ignored on both sides, and truth is purposefully distorted into lies to maintain an agenda. So it's not just the relatively benign storytelling that we tell ourselves of. Propaganda occurs when the meta narrative becomes weaponized. You weaponize the story to attack and discredit the other. And I want to give you uh, some examples of what that means. And I'll just give you one. You can't be a Protestant and have not heard about the horrible Catholic practice of indulgences and how Tetzel, a Roman Catholic priest, you know, when the, when the coin in the, in the coffer rings a soul from uh, purgatory springs and how, you know, the, how evil that was. And, uh, you know, but, you know, thanks, thanks for our Protestant reformers. We, we put an end to that horrible practice. Lies. Here's the truth. Tetzel was a rogue priest. The Catholic Church did not endorse Tetzel's presentation or doctrine. As a matter of fact, if you actually read, not from your memory, not what from your pastor told you, but you actually read the Pope's encyclical on that particular issue of trying to raise funds, he specifically said that it should not be tied directly to money and that the poor and those who cannot afford to give an offering should not be compelled to give an offering. How many of you have gone to a fundamentalist or a word of faith church and you have been, been exposed to some of the foulest devilish, manipulative, prosperity doctrine teachings about sowing and reaping and tithing to build the... And that's okay. But if Tetzel does his thing, he's part of the enemy. And here's another part of the story that they don't tell you because it ruins the meta narrative. Tetzel was brought under church dis discipline. He was defrocked. He was removed from the priesthood because, you see, unlike most evangelical Protestant churches that are built around a celebrity superstar preacher who can get away with anything, the Catholic Church, as imperfect as it is, as blemished and barnacle as it is, actually has disciplinary procedures. The Catholic Church got rid of him and Tetzel's practice was very, very localized. It wasn't church-wide. This wasn't like this edict that came from Rome, go rip off and guilt everybody out of their money. Tetzel went rogue. And at least the Roman Catholic Church had enough integrity to deal with it. How many of you listening to me today have never heard what Paul Harvey used to call the rest of the story. I'd be willing to bet that 99.9% .9 of you have never heard this because you have got, you, you've received your church history from Protestant sources who have a meta narrative to protect and who have to have a bad guy villain. You know, a guy wearing black on a black horse with a black hat. And you have to be the one wearing the white hat. And it is not true. It is dishonest. 
to tell. Only part of the story that makes you and Protestantism and your denomination and your belief system look good. When in fact, by not telling the whole story, you are engaging in dark-powered, nefarious misrepresentations of history to justify lies. You are justifying lies because of your fail or your, your indifference towards real church history or your failure to investigate these things for yourself, your willingness just to swallow everything that your pastor or your favorite TV preacher says without analyzing it, and you have embraced through ego a story that makes you look good, and you're not interested in the facts. You can't be bothered with history. That's wickedness. What do you want me to say? Lying. 10% truth, 90% omission. That's not history. That's not church history. But I can guarantee I got it. I know you got it. That part of the Reformation church history narrative that you got in your Sunday school or your Bible school or maybe your seminary, God forbid, included the, the whole thing about indulgences. Yeah, my passion isn't to make Tetzel look good. My passion is H and H, honesty and humility. Tell the whole story, including the parts that make the other side look good and your side look bad. Tell it all. See you next time.